Good afternoon, I'm Ben Franticelli. I'm a paleontologist from Southern Australia and I'm fascinated by the world around us. And on today's news bulletin, we're going to be discussing the world's largest marsupial carnivore of recent times. Widespread throughout all of Australia, up until about roughly 3,000 years ago, it persisted on the island of Tasmania until its untimely demise in 1936. At the size of a coyote, and not a wolf like is mistakenly thought, it has become an important symbol of humanity's relationship with the natural world. Today, we're going to be talking about how we killed the fires. It was a stunning animal, and now all we have are some photos and videos and a handful of pelts and skeletons of the last thylacines. When the Europeans invaded the rest of Australia throughout the 1800s, they brought with them a distemperment towards the thylacine. They saw them as sheep killers, and as early as 1830, they placed bounties on its head. It's been heavily debated whether or not these animals were sheep killers at all. These bounties, along with other factors, such as an erosion of native habitat and the introduction of wild dogs, created a perfect storm that wiped out the files. On the 7th of September 1936, the last Tasmanian tiger drew its final breath from Hobart Zoo. Despite rumours of its survival, not a single thylacine has been caught in the last 83 years. As much as I want to believe, and I want to believe, there is no doubt in my mind that we will never see a Tasmanian tiger ever again. On the 60th anniversary of its extinction on the 7th of September, the Australian government declared National Threatened Species Day. But it's not enough. <laughs> Australia accounts for up to one third of all contemporary mammal extinctions worldwide. In the 2020 edition of the Sustainable Development Report, Australia ranked second last out of 177 countries assessed for action on climate change. Enough said. We are shaping a brave new world, one where science is intentionally disregarded by politicians and pseudoscience reigns. For the first time in over 66 million years, we are facing a grave new threat. That threat being us. We will never again see a Tasmanian tiger. And in just a moment, you'll see some of the very last footage of this remarkable carnival. Ben out. The Tasmanian tiger, easily distinguished by his straight, unjointed tail, is also a dangerous opponent, though like the devil, is now very rare, being forced out of its natural habitat by the march of civilization. This is the only one in captivity in the world. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.